safety announcement. Due to today's inclement weather, please take extra care whilst on the station. Surfaces may be slippery. There's something about performance that um, taps into a different part of the brain. And I think performance is uh, an amazing way to work with the older body and the older mind. As you age, you kind of uh, start being put in the background. So it's interesting to have uh, performances in the public realm to remind that when you get older you're still valuable and you still have a voice and you have something important to say. The purpose of counterpoint is artistic excellence to see how far dancers of our age can go and then push it a bit beyond. It's a new beginning for me. Well, it was. I'm, I'm a bit more experienced now. Uh, but uh, I think you have to be slightly off balance sometimes in life, just so you know you can move somewhere. I was inspired to join because it would give me the opportunity to learn choreography. We look forward to, to doing the performances and uh, we rehearse quite a lot. dancing I can get completely lost. A lot of your worries or thoughts or preoccupations they disappear because you have to concentrate and you have to be in the moment otherwise you're just not going to do anything at all. So it's from that point of view you just go into another world and you can be absent from the rest. Dance has, I find, given me a release of energy and a freedom. It's a wonderful way of expressing a story through movement. You tend to go down a lot more and you sink into the body movement and you're lose, using your legs a lot. It makes you right and left side of your brain work as well. Something that one can do and achieve a genuinely good artistic result. For the older dancers, there are a lot of physical challenges, but that's the same thing for younger dancers. And uh, what I find interesting is that I can think about developing each dancer in a contemporary dance form. Give them a, a language that already exists and see where that takes them. And by doing that, a new language actually is created get them to understand and uh, to practice and to master that particular movement. So we get to do a movement many, many times. When you're first introduced to that movement, it, it's not part of you. So then you have to engage it. And then once it's in your body, then you just naturally go into the move. Yeah. 
I do know that if she's asking us to do something, it must be possible. When each dancer is able to master uh, a particular step or a particular phrase or a particular choreography, it's quite a, a, an interesting feeling for me. I always think that they overcame a specific challenge. Yeah, I think it's quite a good discipline because at some point, you're going to have to perform. The next train to be on platform zero. There are always a number of people who are oblivious that there is a dance performance going on and they walk through the middle of it. But actually, it, somehow it fitted in well and it was quite a natural part of, of the story. We were migrating, that's the performance piece, and these people were obviously migrating. Directly after a performance is a very special experience, best described as being on a massive high. You get a level of shared elation, which is lovely. the feeling I could dance forever and I'd like to do it all over again now.